Sometimes we'll argue with people over things about which we shouldn't argue. And one of those is, who is Jesus? We need to proclaim Him more than argue Him. It's like the, the old thing I say going back of, of speaking with an atheist. Someone will say, well, you know, you know you're talking to an atheist, don't you? And I say, well, no, I don't know that. You're not an atheist. You say, well, what do you mean I'm not an atheist? I told you I was an atheist. You're not an atheist, my dear friend. Now, you may think you are to some degree. You may try to convince yourself that you are. You may tell everyone else that you are. But I stand on the testimony of Scripture, and the Scripture says you're not an atheist. The Scripture says you know enough about the one true God to be hostile toward Him, and you know enough about the truth of the one true God to seek to suppress it. That your heart, your mind, your conscience, whatever you want to call it, is screaming out to you, God. And you're doing everything in your power to run away from that. So we proclaim the Scripture. We proclaim Jesus is Lord. To go to a person and say, you live almost, you seek to live as an autonomous person creature, to be independent and free, but you will never be free. You will never be autonomous. You have a Lord and you must acknowledge that and submit to Him. You must.